video is sponsored by STS Footwear. Footwear of the fans, by the fans, for the fans. Get your own Gator sneakers at stsfootwear.com and use the code GTFANS for $15 off at checkout. John, yeah, obviously, was there any, we talked, last time we talked to you, there, were, there was like a little hesitation. There were obviously not a lot of consideration in skipping the bowl for you. Oh, right, yeah, I'll be playing. Yeah, I'm definitely playing. Did you think about it? What what made you decide to play? I mean, a lot of factors playing to it. I mean, just overall, mainly just health issues and main, making sure that my body's going to be 100% for the game and I can give my all to my teammates um, uh, at the highest level. I mean, if I'm not going to be that, I mean, I feel like I'm really no help to the team. Um, I'll just be hurting myself, and we got a guy that can be healthy. So um, that's mainly the main issue, but I am playing. I'll follow up on that. Do you, do you take out insurance? On yourself, because obviously you're, you're you know, you have an NFL career ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Do you do you do anything like that? Uh, I mean, they, I haven't received it from the school, so I mean, they, okay. I'm just going off what they tell me. What What does it mean to you personally? Just the fact that you took a flyer on Florida, you took a chance, you came down here, and now here you are uh, going to a, a New Year's Six Bowl. Um, I mean, like I said, I think about this almost every day. I mean, it, it's all about a risk. I mean, I know that. Coming down here, nothing. It was going to be nothing but positive for me. Um, so I basically just used that and took it and ran with it. I mean, I knew if I would have stayed in my past university, I mean, could have still had pretty good stats to do what I did. But um, I feel like this was just basically overall better move for me um, for my future uh, going forward. So um, at that point, it was just a business decision. I had to just take it and run with it so that way I can be able to uh, make plays and uh, set myself up the best situation in the future. The way you're going, you're going to win the ACC title this year. Uh, you're owing your Beat SEC, the eight, no ACC for you because oh, you beat Miami, you beat Florida oh, State, okay, okay, now you okay, get Virginia. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you could win the co I think you could win the Coastal. <laughs> I think you personally. Yeah. Um, do you have some familiarity with Virginia? And what do you know about about them? Uh, I mean, yeah, I played them every year. I was at Louisville. Uh, I think I only played against them twice. I want to say out of the four years that I was there. Um, obviously, we're sure and um, injury. But, um, yeah, I know they're a pretty good team, and they give us a run for our money every year I've played them. I mean, they're always going to play us hard in a very chippy game. I mean, they're very co well coached. Um, it's going to be fun. I mean, I know they have a really dynamic quarterback. I mean, really dynamic offense. Just in general, when you have a guy like that, he can make plays, and you have to worry about everything. You know, uh, it's not just to worry about the run game with him. Um, but defensive-wise, I mean, I know that players, they got some really good players and really long, lengthy guys, um, very physical. So it's going to be a hard-fought game. It won't, be, it won't come easy. Um, obviously, we're going to do what we do and um, impose our will so hopefully they can uh, we get the result that we have in the past. I was actually going to ask you about Perkins. What, what about the quarterback? What mm -hmm. about uh, – what, what do you see? I know it's early, just a few practices, but right. Anthony Richardson, I mean, he's – Young kid, but do you, what do you see from him? Oh, he got some zip. I mean, the way he throws the ball, I mean, he can – I mean, I've seen him just throwing around, tossing around, and he's, he's got an arm. I mean, got good size. I mean, he's very mature coming in so far. I mean, kind of um, gelling with the uh, older guys and young guys well pretty much, you know, still trying to find himself a little bit in the uh, on the team a little bit. But he's going to be really good. I mean, I talk to him uh, every day. I mean, laugh and joke with him. Obviously, you all seen the picture with the jersey, his oversized jersey. But uh, – um, I told him he'll grow into it, but I mean, from what I've seen the past couple of days, I mean, he he can throw it now. So um, be on the lookout for him. I mean, with uh, the right coach and obviously with Coach Money, he's a guru with uh, molding quarterbacks. So um, I expect nothing but great things from him. I mean, he's going to be really good. How, how big an advantage is for a guy like that young? I mean, and then the offensive linemen, you right, know, right? Uh, these guys are getting in here and getting a bunch of practice before they're even right. I mean. Even I told Coach Man, I thought it was illegal at one point to get these guys so early. But, um, I mean, it's they did really well. I mean, um, the quarterback is doing really good. Um, Braun, I think that's the O-lineman, the tackle. He's doing really well. Um, and the other t uh, guard came in as well. He's doing – I mean, they, they practiced yesterday. They, they fit right in. You know, they're accepting the coaching really well. Um, we'll just have to – time will tell, obviously, with their development. Um, but so far, so good. I mean, I, I have nothing bad to say about them. They come in and learning pretty quick. And I'm um, just getting on a – uh, learning the learning curve is is not pretty hard for them, so they'll be all right. If you're going up against Anthony or Brian in one of these practices, do you just put them on their butt one time, say welcome to college? Actually, he got that yesterday um, with Which somebody. One? I can't remember who it was. I mean, he got he got roughed up pretty pretty well. But I mean, hey, I mean, a guy that big and going on that f that fast, I say nah. He understands that. Uh, he knows what it feels like to be at the bottom. So now he'll be able to work better. But um, kid got some size. I mean, that's. I don't, I don't know where they're breeding these kids from, but, <laughs> hey, that, that's a big kid. But I think he's going to be all right. I mean, he's got good size, got Coach Hevesy there to help him out, um, and other guys as well who have some experience. So I think he'll be all right.
you're clearly going to the NFL. I mean, mm-hmm. there's not much other choice. When you have some of these juniors on the team that are considering it, even redshirt sophomores, do any of them come to you? And if so, what advice do you give them? And uh, I mean, yeah, you know, not just them. I mean, other guys from my past schools as well. I mean, they always just ask about the process and, you know, if uh, what they should do in here and there. But I just always tell them, I mean, at the end of the day, I can tell you something. The coach can tell you something. It's going to have to be a decision you're comfortable with. So um, if it's looking good for you, do what you got to do. So, I mean, I there's really no right or wrong answer. You can tell someone in this situation. Um, but, of course, I me, mean, I'm always going to make sure you get your degree. So um, if you get your degree, I mean, no matter what else happens, you at least set yourself up to get where you're at least trying to go. So um, that's my at least my advice to them. But, I mean, if, if, they, if it's their time, it's their time. So I'm not going to sit here and tell them, no, uh, don't do it. So do what you got to do for you and your family. Uh, no, not yet. I mean, I, I'll possibly graduating. Uh, not possibly. I will be graduating in the fall of next year. So um, that will be definitely on my list to get done. John, uh, did you guys pay much attention to the final college football playoff rankings? Uh, yeah, I think I did. I think we were six or nine, eight, nine, nine something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see that. Do you feel like you guys were ranked appropriately? Uh, we can go. We can go all day about this. Uh, I just, well, I just, I'm glad that we're in top ten. Um, like I said, if we do our part, you shouldn't have to worry about. Uh, if we win those games, we shouldn't have to worry about what they're ranking us. So um, you can't really say too much about what we think we should be ranking. We lost two games. No matter who we lost to, you lost two games. It's two games. So um, not too much to say about that. Can you guys use that as motivation to, to finish the season ranked as high as possible in this game? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, like I said, any we know as ourselves on the team what we have and what we're capable of, capable of doing. Um, so all we do now is just control what we control and go out and play the games, you know, practice hard as we can to make sure that we do our part so that way um, there's no mix-up in, in the coming in the future. So the young guys know what to – like I said, just speaking earlier, the young guys know what to expect coming in, um, that we set the pace so that we can just build off of that. What do you think first-team All-SEC? Oh, man, it's a blessing. Um, it's the best – Best best league in college football. So um, to get that, that was really huge for me. Um, I still got I'm just using that as a stepping stone so that I can get to where I want to be. Um, but I am ex- extremely thankful for it. I mean, I know I can't thank nobody else but God himself, um, my teammates as well. So that way it just helped me get to where I, went, where I need to be. These coaches helped me get back developed to where I wa- once was. So I'm even better as well. So i um, definitely thankful for that. Just this season in general, I've asked you a bunch, but mm-hmm. do you ever just reflect on how far you've come? Man, uh, it's it's something like I said. I think about it all the time. I mean, it's I never thought in a million years that I would be here doing what I did. Um, but I mean, it was always inside of me. Um, now, just looking back on it, it was always inside of me. I just had to actually believe in it. You know, a lot of times when uh, if any individual believes in itself and have the slightest bit of ability, I mean, they can make a lot of things happen. So I just feel like I just was one of those people. Um, and God bless me to be in this situation, put me here for a reason, and I just took it and ran with it. <coughs> Um, I asked Coach about it, but did Felipe talk to the team at all um, when he d- made the decision to to leave to transfer or go to the NFL? Yeah, it was individual. I mean, I mean I'm not necessarily just in the setting, but I mean, he's got to everybody. I mean, everybody kind of almost knew to what, what was what it was leading to. Um, but yeah, he got to his individual. I talked to him. I still talk to him now. I know just give him words of encouragement. But I know he'll be all right. You know, just uh, I just make sure that he gets healthy and make sure that he's comfortable with decisions. So um, extremely happy for him. There's no bad blood between anybody on the team. I mean, this we all got love from his. If anybody else is in the situation, we have the same love for him. So uh, he got to do what he got to do for his future and his family. Can't blame him.